And the future of where and how Chicago public school students will learn is still up in the air. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ryan Baker. Thanks for joining us today at 11. Audrina Bigas is on assignment. Once again, Chicago public school students are learning remotely today. The reason? No deal was reached between district leaders and the Chicago Teachers Union on a COVID safe return to the classroom. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe is live in our street side studio to sort out the ongoing dispute. Mugo. Ryan, a CTU spokesperson tells me both sides plan to meet again today. In fact, they should be meeting right now at 11 a.m. In the meantime, the district wants uh, the teachers rather to return to the school buildings today to prepare for tomorrow when some students will return for in-person learning. We're specifically talking about those pre-K, special education and kindergarten through eighth grade students, which is why CPS wants their teachers in school buildings today. Last night, Mayor Lori Lightfoot said progress was made days earlier on discussions like safety protocols, ventilation, contact tracing and health and safety committees. But negotiations came to a halt on Sunday. Both Lightfoot and CPS CEO Janice Jackson said yesterday there'll be consequences if teachers don't show up today. All teachers, pre-K through eight, and cluster teachers must report. If you do not have an a approved accommodation, we expect to see you back in class. Teachers and staff that fail to report to school tomorrow will have their access to Google Suites cut off at the end of the business day. On the other hand, CTU says one sticking point is how the district can accommodate staff living with medically fragile family members or loved ones. Members are also concerned about the district's plan to get teachers vaccinated. The union says it will take action if teachers who don't show up to the classroom are locked out today. Sounds that they intend to lock educators out of uh, Google Classroom. They do lock us out. The next step is going to be for us to call our House of Delegates and take a decision about what comes next. So a spokesperson tells CBS2 that decision could be a teacher strike as early as tomorrow. But again, it all depends on what happens today. We'll, of course, keep you updated. We're live from our street side studio. Mugo Digwe, CBS2 News. Mugo, it goes round and round. Thanks for the update.